guys? Welcome to the channel for a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys that have the Xbox Series S or X console, how to set up your Elgato capture card with it. What equipment are you going to need to run this setup? Well, for starters, you're going to need to have all the contents that came in the box with the Elgato capture card. So that means you should have the super speed USB cable that came in the box, as well as an additional HDMI cable. So this should leave you with a total of two HDMI cables for your setup. You're also gonna to wanna to have a decent computer to run the Elgato capture card. I left some recommendations in the description below as well as what Elgato recommends so you can run this equipment, but you're gonna need something with a quad core processor, maybe dedicated graphics card if you can swing it, and preferably eight gigabytes of RAM or more. You'll also wanna make sure that this laptop or computer has at least three USB ports because maybe you'll wanna add a webcam to your setup so you can show your face over your gameplay. How about adding a USB microphone such as the Blue Snowball, the Blue Yeti, the Elgato Wave microphone, which is what I usually use now. You'll wanna have a microphone directly connected to your computer to record your commentary. That also segues into me recommending that you guys pick up the Elgato chat link cable if you want your chat audio recorded. I did a, quite a bit of testing with this Xbox series console and there's literally no other way for your voice to be heard by your chat or for the chat audio to be picked up on your stream without this cable. So if you want your chat audio recorded, you're going to want to pick up the Elgato chat link cable. I wish it came in the box with the Elgato capture card, but it doesn't. So you have to pick this up on the side. I left a link description below if you wanna go check out this product. So if you have everything you need now, how are you gonna put it all together? Well, on screen right now, here is a little bit of a diagram of how the cables will connect. As you can see from the Xbox console, that's where the HDMI in cable will go. The HDMI out port will go to your monitor or your TV, and then you'll have your super speed USB cable, which will go from the capture card to your computer. If you connect the cables as you see me doing in the video here, you'll be able to pull in your gameplay picture as well as your gameplay audio. Now, for those of you guys that are using a headset and the chat link cable to record the chat audio, you'll wanna plug in the two connector side of the chat link cable into the Xbox controller. The female stereo jack connector right below that is where you'll plug in your headphones. That would be the end of the cable that looks like this. If you plug your headphones into this, your microphone will also be active so that way the people that you're in a party with can hear you. The other end of the chat link cable will be plugged into the Elgato capture card. Now that you have the physical hardware equipment connected properly, let's head to the computer so we can download the correct programs. The first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do is head over to Elgato's website, go over to the right hand side and select downloads. And then within here, you just wanna scroll down a little bit. You can select show all or even your operating system for Mac or Windows. For this example, we will be using Windows and you're gonna to wanna to download the 4K Capture Utility Tool and its associated drivers by just selecting this blue download icon. Once you've completed the install, go ahead and launch the 4K Capture Utility program. You should see your Elgato gameplay picture up on screen as long as everything is connected properly. If you wanna adjust your audio settings, just go over to the settings icon and then under devices, you should see your capture card selected there and then audio input will automatically be HDMI audio. But if you're using something like the Elgato chat link cable to record your chat audio on your Xbox, then you're gonna to wanna to select that drop down and select analog audio, apply, okay. And now you have the audio coming from the controller being recorded by the Elgato capture card. To make sure your gameplay audio and chat audio are balanced, you wanna go into your Xbox quick menu and then go to your audio settings. First off, make sure that your headset mic is turned on so that way your party can hear you. Next, you wanna scroll down to headset chat mixer, and then that's where you can adjust the knob to whether or not you wanna hear more gameplay audio or more of the chat audio. The mic monitoring option that you see below that is where you can set how much of your voice you wanna hear back to yourself. I would imagine for most of you guys, you wanna keep this the zero. Better yet, just mute your TV because you probably don't want your gameplay audio echoing either through your microphone. An additional program you guys can look to download is OBS Studio, which is great for recording gameplay as well as streaming it to places like Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. If you want an even more customized stream setup, I would go with something like Streamlabs OBS, which you can download right off of streamlabs.com. And then go over to the right-hand side, you'll see this white download button. 
But Streamlabs OBS is definitely the program to use if you want a ton of extra streaming features. Now to get your gameplay picture, your webcam, and your microphone into OBS or Streamlabs OBS, they work the same. You're gonna to wanna to select one of your scenes, go over to the right here under sources, select the plus button, and then just add a video capture device. You can name this whatever you want. We'll name it Elgato, select okay. And within my properties, you see that my webcam's already selected, but I'm gonna select that drop down and select my capture card, which is the AC60S Plus. You should see it here. In my case, using the HD60S Plus, I don't have a video signal, as you can see. That's because I'm using it in the 4K utility tool, and this capture card doesn't have multi-app support. So all I'm gonna need to do is exit out of that, and then back in OBS, I can just select Deactivate, Activate, and there it is. If you look in the audio mixer, you should see the Elgato gameplay audio coming in as its own audio source. Next, I'll add my face cam. So I'll just go ahead and add another video capture device. And then just go ahead and select the web camera that you have connected to your computer. Select OK, and then you can just move it around. You can take the corners to resize it. You can play around with it until you have it to your liking. The face cam audio track within my mixer, I'm just gonna go ahead and hide that just so it looks a little bit cleaner. But how about adding my commentary microphone now? Well, all I'm gonna need to do is go over to my settings within OBS, and then just for one of the mic auxiliary audio devices, just select your USB microphone. And you will see the audio levels coming through as a new audio track within your mixer. So this was a pretty bare bones example of what you can do in OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Of course, there's plenty more you can fumble around with in your settings, adding chat overlay, alerts, widgets, face cam borders. So definitely check out my playlist linked in the card above as I go into a lot more detail with what you can do in these programs. But there you guys have it. That is how you set up your Elgato capture card with the Xbox Series S or X consoles. I would honestly love to see a software update where first, USB microphones can be plugged into the Xbox itself. Right now you can only power USB microphones and then you have to get a total other adapter just to get a USB microphone to work with the Xbox, which is just crazy. But then second, I, I wish the chat audio would always be recorded over HDMI along with the gameplay audio. Why does it get separated out into your headphones only? So that way you can't record it over the HDMI and then you have to get this chat link cable. If the Xbox recorded the chat audio over HDMI, you wouldn't need the chat link cable. It's as simple as that. But as it stands today, you're going to need to have the chat link cable in order for your chat audio to be heard, recorded, as well as your chat being able to hear you over a microphone. I'll leave you guys with that. Of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Hit me up on my socials if you wanna reach out as well, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.